Ready Player One official trailer number one. Now, I don't know if this is the same trailer that they've been showing in theaters. I've seen a trailer uh, during a couple of movies I'm going to go see over the past couple of months. Two months, I would say. So, I don't know if this is the same thing. If it is, I'm probably not going to upload this. If it's something different, give it some story elements. It's, it's a little deeper. Cool. That's what I'm, I'm, I'm hoping this is. That's what I think this is. Why would they show us the same trailer they've been showing in theaters and stuff? And then call it official trailer one. But, um... Yeah, a lot of nostalgic stuff in there from like the 80s, maybe the early 90s, but mainly the 80s, which I'm into because I'm a kid of the 80s, born in the 80s. I already in because it's Steven Spielberg. Um, I hear the story is supposed to be good. I believe it was a novel or something like that. So I'm already in, but I hope it makes me want to watch it instead of me just saying I hope this is a movie that I want to see. So let's see what this trailer got to offer. My name's Wade Watts. My dad picked that name because it sounded like a superhero's alter ego. Wait, what? Like Peter Parker or Bruce Banner. But he died when I was a kid. My mom, too. Me and his dad would have been friends. I ended up here. Sitting here in my tiny corner of nowhere. There's nowhere left to go. Nowhere. Except the Oasis. That's him. People come to the Oasis for all the things they can do. Gotta have it. But they stay because of all the things they can be. Can you feel this? I would definitely do that. Every day. It's the only place that feels like I mean anything. The Oasis was the brainchild of James Hallett. Hello. If you're watching this, I'm dead. I created a hidden object, an Easter egg. The first person to find the egg will inherit half a trillion dollars and total control of the Oasis. Oh, okay, itself. I see. What you're doing. Yeah, okay. Who is this Parzival? And how the hell is he winning? Find him. This isn't just a game. I'm talking about actual life and death stuff. The Oasis. The world's most important economic resource. And it's nothing less than a war for control of the future. They get a little serious, aren't they? It's not just a video game, it is a virtual world. Welcome to the rebellion, Wade. Like many of you, I only came here to escape. I found something much bigger than just myself. Are you willing to fight? Come play safe the Oasis. Oh, that Back to the Future charm. Oh my God. You know, two really important things. It looks like he has a love interest in this. And if you know me, which I don't have a lot of followers, but if you know anything about me, I think love stories should be involved in almost every story. If it does does justice and is handled well. I think it just enhances every story. Some type of love. Whether it's a brotherly love, um, partnership love, you know, girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, wife, whatever. I think it enhances stories. But, also, he has an avatar. Like he said, you can be whatever you want or the things you can do. That's kind of cool. And I like how it looks like a mixture of... Uh, you know, like computer graphics, something like you would see on PlayStation 4, because the cutscenes in some games these days look fantastic, almost lifelike, but not realistic. Um, not, not real like reality. So I like that. I kind of like that. And um, the guy hit an Easter egg and there's something everybody's looking for. And then they had to put some seriousness into it, where people in the real world are trying to stop people who go in the Oasis from doing something. You know, he's obviously winning, so they're like, stop him. Can't, and I, we're going to find out when we watch the movie, I'm sure, why there's this life or death situation going on with it. But I'm in. I'm in. I, I trust Spielberg. He has been making films to the quality that he's been doing, like, in the 80s and 90s lately. But I'm in for this. I don't know why. I mean, I'll definitely be plugging into that thing every day if that thing was real. Also, with all the 80s, you know throwback stuff, King Kong, the DeLorean from Back to the Future, the bike from Akira, 
Iron Giant and stuff like that and other figures from other different time periods and stuff like that. That's, that's, that's fantastic. I really think this is going to end up being something they're going to try to continue. Like make a series of movies out of, especially if it's a hit. Studios like, hey, that made money, let's make more of it to make more money. And if they do, I hope it's done right. You know, the Oasis, I think they're going to start showing like how he reacts to the stuff that's going on when he's in the Oasis. You know, like what um, Assassin's Creed did, it's a, I hope they do it better. Do not cut back to him in the middle of a great action piece where he's driving the car and just keep cutting back to him. Assassin's Creed messed that up because they kept cutting back too much. And when he did, you know what I mean? So I, I think they're going to do it better than this one. I really do. Especially if they heard the complaints about something like that. Because it's like the Matrix, except you're acting this stuff out, you can feel it, and you're not just strapped in the chair, and it's always happening in your mind. But anyway, um, yeah, so I'm definitely in. Definitely going to go see this. What do you guys think? Let me know if you want to let me know. Put it down in the comments down below. See you next time.